<laughs> All right, this Tuesday, so excited right here. Uh, July 5th, LA landmark Pink's Hot Dogs is helping us celebrate our 75th anniversary. KTLA is turning 75 officially. So they're hosting what's called KTLA Day on the fifth day of the seventh month from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's yesterday. right. Joining us live with a preview of the KTLA Day is Pink's president, Richard Pink. Uh, good morning to you, and you're also with co-owners Gloria and Beverly, I think, right there. Hi, guys. How are you? We're great. Fantastic. So glad you're here. We are going to be celebrating your 75th this Tuesday by selling chili dogs for charity. Regular price, $6.95. No inflation here. We're selling them for 75, 75 cents. cents. And 100% is going to the LA Family Housing Organization, a charity that will build homes for the homeless. This is amazing that you're doing this because this is what you do. This is also what we like to do at KTLA in terms of just being there for the community. Why is this so important? This is so important because we're celebrating your 75th. You're so much a part of the history of Los Angeles as Pink's is because we're in our 82nd year in this great city. But what is so important is that we give back, all of us do, and I know that you do so much for the community and we're doing it by us donating 100% of the proceeds of these 75 cent hot dogs all day Tuesday, and you're donating $10,000 to the LA Family Housing Charity. So we're so proud to be partnered with KTLA. We're honored to be partnered with Absolutely. you. This is incredible. So you and um, someone you might have heard of, Wendy Birch, <laughs> I guess you guys have cooked up some surprises for Tuesday. Can you give us a sneak peek to any of those surprises? Well, one of the biggest surprises, of course, what we're selling the hot dogs for, but Wendy Birch will be here all day, and she is going to be inaugurating on our wall four of the anchor stars from KTLA right here on our Celebrity Wall of Fame that has over 250 famous TV and movie stars on our wall who have all dined on dogs at Pink's. Indeed, there's so many of us that have, right? That's so cool. Okay, so let's talk about, we, we actually have some hot dogs on set here that we want to show because they look amazing. We have some that we get to try, which is fantastic. Uh, but let's talk about the history. You kind of touched on it a little bit. Uh, your parents founded Pink's in 1939. So you guys are celebrating your 80th birthday. Not too long ago that happened. Talk about what, what does it take to be an institution in LA for decades? My mother and father started Pink's with a $50 loan. Wow. Talk about building for the homeless. My parents were $50 away from being homeless. They borrowed the $50 from my grandmother, bought a little hot dog cart, wheeled that cart two miles up to this very site at La Brea and Melrose, and went into business with a 100-yard extension cord plugged into a friendly neighbor's outlet, and that's how they fired up Pink's for the first two years. In those days, it's 1939, hot dogs were 10 cents, Cokes were a nickel. Wow. Then the landlord raised the rent in 1941, 67% to $25 a month. And they couldn't afford it. And they had to go to Bank of America, borrow the money, bought the property, and we are here today. And the stand you see behind me was built in 1946. It is the total original Pink's hot dog stand that my parents built with their their drive, their commitment, their energy, their passion for the hot dog business. Hey, Richard, really quickly, we're told that you guys sell 2,000 hot dogs each and every day. When you lower the price to 75 cents, we're hoping we can break that record yeah. come this Tuesday. But seeing all those photos, my question for you, of all the people in L.A. who have dined at Pink's Hot Dogs from 1939 to present day, aside from Lynette, <laughs> who is the most, would you say, memorable? Who's the one that you would, you know, if you had grandkids, great-grandkids, this is the person who stopped at Pink Hot Dogs that's most memorable that you're most proud about? I'll tell you the one that gives me the most chills, and that is Michelle Obama came here with Sasha and Malia and Michelle's mother, sat in the patio, had some hot dogs on their way to a Laker game. They said it was delicious. Everybody in our patio, it was full, stood up and gave them an applause as they left. It was a complete surprise. Wow. That's probably our most famous and memorable guest. But someone else 
Orson Welles, take us back in history wow. in terms of the movie industry. He holds the all-time record for the most chili dogs dying at one sitting. 18 chili dogs at one sitting, oh my, my father gosh. counted them. You can believe that. Oh my gosh, wow. we could talk to you all day long. Thank you guys so much, you're amazing. Uh, and we want to remind people you can join Wendy Birch this Tuesday, July 5th at Pink's on La Brea as they celebrate KTLA Day. You heard it, 75 cent chili dogs from seven in the morning until 5 p.m. Proceeds from the KTLA dogs will benefit LA Family Housing. We are gonna dig in, we'll be right back. Hey,